Hello everybody, this is Coach Doug O here. We are going to do week 16 of Core and More. We have a spe special guest today, Chris, my wife. She is going to do the uh, exercises for us today. I'm actually going to walk her through it as a little bit of a personal trainer to client. So if she does anything wrong, I can help her out. So with that being said, our goal today is to do two rounds. We will give you a break after the first time through, 30 seconds of work, 15 second breaks, do what you can, not what you can't. Hey, if you do need to do something different because you can't do something, that's totally fine. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with side to side crunches, right and left. Chris, come on down to the floor. Make sure you keep your chin up. Remember to breathe. We will get started in five seconds. So side to side crunches, right and left, and go. So we got 30 seconds here. She's keeping her chin up. When she comes up, she is going to breathe every single time. She's reaching for her knee, she's reaching for her ankles, coming up as high as she can. So, so far so good everybody, so far so good. All right, we got 10 more seconds, then we're gonna get a 15 second break before we do our next exercise. Three, two, and one, looks good. All right, so next we're gonna do is combo crunches. This is where we're gonna bring our legs and our upper body in, back and forth. We got five seconds, three, two, one, and go. Combo crunches, bringing it in. Once again, Chris is gonna be looking up towards the ceiling or the top part of her knees as she comes in. You also, when you're doing your abs here, you wanna keep your ankles up nice and high. That's gonna keep your back flat on the floor. So if anything bothers your lower back, try elevating your ankles. We got 10 more seconds here, Chris. Remember to breathe. Looking good, looking good. Couple more. Three, two, and one. Relax. Now Chris is gonna go into a plank position. She's gonna have her arms out straight. She's just gonna walk it out kind of like an inchworm. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Forward and back. Ready and go. She's gonna keep a straight line. Her tummy is nice and tight. And not that I would ever hit anybody in the stomach, but if I would come over here and I would kind of line up and tense up, she wanted her to tense up, what I want her to do, keep on going, Chris, don't stop now, okay? Keep the tummy nice and tight, okay? So as you're doing this, keep the tummy tight. You want to keep your butt nice and straight line, keep it from going up. If this is too hard, just do planks. And relax. Chris, you can take a quick little break, but stay in the plank position because next we're going to go planks. Knees to outside of your elbows. <clears throat> if you can't do this one or the second time through, just do regular plank, standard or modified. And go. So she's just gonna alternate right and left. Her goal is to get to the outside of her knees. Once again, she's keeping that straight line. Tummy's nice and tight. Now, for this one too, I still am gonna encourage you to breathe every time the knee comes in. So, and now, there you go, good. Chris, good, you can breathe. You know what, when you're at home, you know you don't have to worry about hearing anything. Three, two, and one, relax. All right, now Chris is gonna go back to her backside. We're gonna go to bicycle crunches next. Now, if you don't wanna take these little bit of breaks, get right into the next exercise. So bicycles, ready, and go. She is just going to basically bring her elbow to knee, She's doing a great job of pausing, going nice and slow. You never want to go too fast when you're doing a downward work. Let the core do the work, not momentum. 15 more seconds here. Bring it in. Good. Breathe. And breathe. All right, five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right. Chris is next gonna go into toe touches. She's just gonna go straight up and down. Reach for your knees, your shins, your ankles or your toes, as high as you can go. Okay, three, two, one, toe touches. Now, as she's doing this also, she's also gonna rock her butt just a little bit off the mat, working the lower abdominals with the uppers. Breathe in every time you come up. Once again, you're going as high as you can. Now, if it bothers your neck, you can take one hand and put it behind your head for a little bit of support. 10 more seconds. 
Only do what you need to do. Keep going, everybody. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right, next we're going to go to heel touches, right, left. Instead of just doing right side for 30, left side, we're going to go right and left. Okay, once again, she's going to keep her chin up. Palms are up. Shoulder blades as high as you can. Three, two, one, and go. Once again, we want to look at that ceiling. Keep your chin up. There you go. Nice job, everybody. Now, if your feet are not, you know, reachable, just go as far as you can. Go as far as you can. Chris, put your feet a little farther out and see if you can still reach them. Is that a little harder? Mm -hmm. There you go. So adjust things once in a while too. If it's easier, hey, try a little harder. Three, two, and one. All right, next we're gonna go to reverse crunches. Now, if you don't want the break, you can go right into reverses, okay? Reverses, make sure you lift your butt off the mat, high as you can, tabletop position to start, and here we go. Bring it in and press those heels to the ceiling. There you go. Now, once again, Chris is going up pretty high, rocking the butt off the mat. If that's too difficult for you, all you need to do is just bring your knees in to the chest, okay? So Chris, why don't you do a couple of them where you just bring your knees into chest and don't press up to the ceiling so much. There you go, just like that. Even whatever you need to do, if it's just modified like that, do what you gotta do. Okay, relax. All right. Next, Chris is gonna go into C crunches next. Chris, why don't you demonstrate a C crunch for us? Okay, very similar to our combo crunches. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Here we go. So C crunches. She's bringing her feet back down to the floor, reaching for those ankles. Once again, keeping the chin up nice. And breathe. Breathe. So every time you're exerting force is when you want to breathe. Okay? And if you get it mixed up, just breathe. Okay? Three more seconds. Two and one. Relax. All right. Next, we're going to go to front crunches. We're going to have our knees bent. However, when we get to 20 seconds, we're going to have our stay up and pulse the last 10 seconds. Okay? So front crunches to start. Three, two, one, and go. All right, once again, she's supporting her neck, not pulling on the neck. Chin is up. If you want to make it a little harder, you can lift your feet off the floor. You don't have to do that, Chris. It's totally fine. But the last 10 seconds, I just want you to stay up and pulse, okay? And up and hold. And pulse. Little rocks. Little rocks. Keep that tummy nice and tight. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right. Next one, we are going to go um, to our planks on the side, hip dips, okay? You can go straight arm, you can go elbows bent. Chris is going to demonstrate here, and go, 30 seconds. Just bringing the hip up and down. For her feet, she has them stacked. However, if you wanna to alternate top over bottom, totally fine. Modification if you need to. You can put your elbow down, okay? or you can put that bottom knee down to the ground as well. 10 more seconds. After this, she's gonna go to the other side. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. So she's gonna go to the other side. All right, Chris, just show me with your knee down just for a second before you actually get started. Yep, so right there, that's the modification if you need it. All right, come back up, hip dips, and Go. So we're just doing the opposite side. Holding. You still want to breathe. So after this round, real quick, we're going to give you a quick little water break, okay? We're going to do everything another time through. All right? Okay. We got 10 more seconds. Keep her going, everybody. Keep her going. We got this. Five, four, three, two, one. And one, relax. All right, so right now we're gonna give you just about a minute break, tops here, okay? Now, reminders, as we go through the second round, we're gonna go 30 seconds again, 15 second breaks. If you need longer, take it, okay? Otherwise, if you want a little bit more intensity, skip the breaks, okay?
okay? So after I say three, two, one, I'll say X, and so, X, Y, or Z is next. You can start right away if you want to, okay? All right, so with that being said, Chris, you're doing an amazing job. This is the first time actually I can take a break. I like this, okay? This morning I did butts and guts, okay? Might be a little tender, might be a little sore. Another reason why we might have a lovely assistant here with us today. So, all right, well, hey, with that being said, let's go into round number two. Once again, we're gonna start off with side to side crunches, right and left. So with that being said, we are gonna keep the 30 seconds. Remember to breathe. If there's anything you can't do from the first round, just try to do a front crunch, okay? All right, here we go in four, three, two, and one. Side to side crunches. Once again, you are going to try to get your hand to your knee and then the bottom one to that ankle, going back and forth, back and forth. Once again, if you wanna make it harder, put your feet out a little farther. Reach a little farther if you need to. There you go. Chin is up, breathe, 10 more seconds. After this, we have combo crunches. You wanna make it harder, go right into it. Otherwise, you do get a 15 second break. And relax. Combo crunches, legs are out. Once again, you're doing a front crunch and bringing the knees in. Five more seconds. Four, three, two combos, and go. Bring it in. Once again, if it bothers your back, get your ankles a little higher than your knees. That's gonna keep your back flat on the mat, okay? So far, so good, so far, so good. After this, we have those lovely planks. Those are the ones that we're gonna walk out next. You have 10 more seconds of the combos. Keep it going, keep it going. Tummy's nice and tight, nice and tight. Three, two, and one. All right, plank position, walk it out. We're gonna walk it out. Arms are out straight. It's just a couple to the front and then bringing it back. Okay, five seconds. Assume that plank position, keep that tummy nice and tight and walk it out. Now, reminders, if this is too difficult, just hold plank, all right? You can do standard, modified, you're just gonna go down to your knees, keep the tummy nice and tight. Now, you might not be able to see you know, your, your uh, form on this, but just remember to try to keep your butt high, keep it nice and level. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. After this one, we have elbow to knee plank side to side, right and left, and relax. Take that 15 second break if you want it. So once again, arms are out straight, bringing the knees in, side to side. Whew. Time goes fast, doesn't it? Four, three, two, plank, elbow to knee, and go, right and left. Now, I like to actually look at that knee coming in it makes me tighten up the sides a little bit more. Excellent. Once again, modification for this one, just do a plank. Just do modified plank if you need it, okay? After this one, we're gonna go back to our back side and we're gonna go back to those bike crunches, okay? Five more seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. So on our back side, we have bicycle crunches. Now remember last time, Chris, she went nice and slow. She went nice and controlled, okay? Remember to pause. Remember to pause. Three, two, one. Bicycle crunches. Perfect, perfect. Once again, her ankles are up nice and high. She's doing her best to bring that elbow to touch in the knee. Good, looking good. Now, I always tell people as best you can, keep your eyes up. Okay, it really is gonna protect your neck. Right now, if your back is hurting a little bit, it just means we're not strong enough in the core yet. Just keep fighting, okay? Three seconds, two, and one. Toe touches are next. So once again, you can get in there right away and go. Otherwise, for toe touches, this time, instead of just going straight up and down, Chris, touch the outside of your ankles, okay? Three, two, feet up, and go. So right now, just touch the outside of the ankles. <clears throat> now, if you like the other way, we just go straight up and down, that's totally fine. I want to involve a little bit more obliques on this one too. It involves um, not only that, but the upper abdominals. All right, looking good. Once again, if you can't reach those shoestrings, reach for those ankles. If not, reach for the shins. Worst comes to worst, touch those knees. 
Five more seconds, then we're gonna go to heel touches right and left. And relax. Feet are down on the ground, knees are bent. Remember to keep the chin up on this one as best you can. I also want you to keep your shoulder blades off the ground, okay? So, palms are up, shoulder blades off the ground, heel touches, and go. Right and left, right and left. <clears throat> Chris, you getting tired yet? Nope. Yeah, that's why. Like... all day. Oh, okay, well, it's only a 20 minute video, Chris, not even, so you can just keep going, we'll just pause, pause the camera later. All right, always has to show off. 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. We gotta know who the strong one is in the family. Yeah, uh, Chris is the strong one in the family. Yep. Three, two, and one. Relax. All right, next is reverse crunches. Okay, remember there's two ways of doing it. Butt off the ground or just bring the knees in is a little bit more modified. Okay, reverse crunches in five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Reverse crunches. There you go. In and up. Once again, she is keeping her neck on the floor. If she does want to actually bring her neck off the ground and look at her inner thigh, okay, it'll make it hurt a little bit more, but not that much. Not really worth the strain on the neck, okay? We have about 10 more seconds here. Now, as she's coming down, she can also keep her ankles up a little bit higher. See how they're going lower than her knees? That'll help her back too. See how she did that last one? There you go, relax. All right. From here, we go to C crunches next. Chris, can you demonstrate the C crunch again just in case they want to start sooner? All right, you can relax for a second, okay? All right, so C crunches in three, two, here we go. So she's bringing her feet back down to the ground. Front crunch up. This is gonna involve upper and lower abdominals. Keep that tummy nice and tight as you come up. Now, when I say keep your tummy nice and tight, really tense up, like if I was gonna hit myself in the stomach as hard as I can, that's the tense feeling that I want, okay? So, tense feeling, relax it. Tense feeling, relax it. Three more seconds, two and one. Front crunches are next, front crunches are next, okay? Once again, we're gonna go front crunches for the first 20, the last 10 seconds we're gonna pulse if you can. Three, two, one, front crunches and go. So once again, she's just supporting the neck. She's not pulling on the neck, okay? Sometimes it's even better actually to not even touch your head or just maybe touch the tops of your, your ears so you don't get that chin going down. In regards to the keeping that tummy nice and tight, goes for every exercise, not just this one. All right, up and hold, Chris, and pulse the last 10 seconds. All right, after this one, we got those side planks, and then we are done. All right, relax. Side planks with the hip dips, right and left. Doesn't matter what side you start with. You do the right, do the right, do the left, do the left, doesn't really matter, okay? Once again, if you can't do this one, just drop that knee down to the ground and hold the side plank. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Once again, arm is out straight. The hip, you're just bringing down as low as you can, keeping that nice and tight, and up. Breathe, and breathe. There you go. This is when you're supposed to breathe, huh? Yeah, you're supposed to breathe, Chris. All right, you got seven more seconds. Couple more, couple more. How many more can you do? Three, two, and one. Relax. All right, last side, last side. Last 30 seconds, everybody. Then we are done for today, all right? Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. One. All right. So after we're done with this one, we're done for the day. Okay. If you want to stick around, you know what? Do some extra credit. Do some star crunches. Totally fine with me. Some flutter kicks. Totally fine with me. Gregor over here will probably do the same thing too. So with that being said, hey, finish it out. You got five more seconds. Four, three, two. And one. All right, relax. All right, so with that being said, everybody, awesome job today. Chris, thank you so much for being our lovely assistant today. I can't guarantee she'll be here every single week, okay? Yeah, she probably won't be. No, um, don't eat a full plate of spaghetti before doing this. Disclaimers. Mm -hmm. Should have put the disclaimers out there. So, no. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I want to thank you specifically, though, for joining us here today. Week number 16 of Core and More. Remember, do what you can, not what you can't. All right? With that being said, we want to thank you. Have a good rest of your day. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye now.